Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us with the Sony ICFP27, this is an AM FM portable radio. You can find this radio on Amazon right now for $24.99. You may be able to find it at Walmart for the same price or even cheaper. Um, this is replacing the outgoing P26 model, and that model uh, was around 20 bucks at its retail level. So hopefully this one will come down. It just depends. They got a lot more electronics in this one, and we'll talk about that. So let's look at the box. Comes in a simple Sony ICF P27. Got illustration of the radio. Down here we got some LEDs. 94 hour runtime on two AA batteries. Loving that. It's good run times. What it comes with in the box, 2021 Sony. Right hand side, we got some uh, dimensions there. There you go. Freeze frame if you need that. And on the back here, you'll look, it says, newly developed tuner, IC, enables easy channel selection and long battery life. Nice. So that's the DSP. It's a digital signal processor. Um, very interesting radio. Uh, people were a little nervous about this radio coming out and replacing the P26 because the P26 is all analog and this is a DSP. It's not your typical DSP radio though. You're gonna hear that in action. They went through a lot of work to make this radio sound like an all analog receiver and you'll hear that. So there's the box. Let's show you what it comes in. I took everything out and we'll show you what we get. So for our money, we get a cool wrist strap. I like it. Uh, it's branded for the Sony fanboy or fangirl in you. There you are, Sony. I guess I gotta add mine on there. It's on my P26. I'd say we get a a guarantee of defects, limited warranty, blah, 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 blah. We don't need to open that up, I don't think, right? Right. Next, we get a manual, which is pretty simple, pictorial, like how do you open up the battery compartment? <laughs> how do you turn it on? How do you tune the wheel? How do you put the wrist strap on? Yeah, stuff like that. Um, it's cool. It has a uh, earphone jack, and it will properly uh, play both channels. Uh, even though it's not stereo, it's uh, FM mono both ears. So that's nice. And that was a foreign language. Let's get to some English. I want to show you the specifications here. For the radio nerd in you, there's your frequency range FM. There's your AM. Okay. So there you are. Power output. Uh, it's fairly weak. 100 yeah, 100 milliwatts. Um, when you jam on the volume, yeah, it, does, it gets loud, but not too loud, I've noticed. <laughs> Using it, there's a weight, 192 grams, including battery. So 7 ounces, not bad at all. Cool. And uh, wait, there's that. There you go. So you can use those yeah, stereo and a single mono if you want. Single ear or stereo. But if you have no stereo, it'll just play in both ears, which is nice. There you go. Want to replace batteries. Okay. So yeah, it's pretty basic. Uh, I don't think I have to show you anything else in this manual. Let's get to the radio. So here it is up front and center. The P27 looks just like the P26 in a way. There are some differences and I'll show you some of those. Um, so I'm going to zoom this down a little bit. Let's go over dimensions of the radio. It should be identical to the P26. Uh, we have a height of uh, four and five eighths of an inch or 119 millimeters. We have a width of two and five eighths of an inch or 69 millimeters. We have a case depth of one and a half inches or 38 millimeters. And of course that weight was 192 grams with batteries making it seven ounces. Cool deal. So we'll bring in the Sony P26 it replaces. This is an all analog radio and this is a DSP radio. So there you go. Um, really cool. Uh, the big difference you can see right away is the FM scale is really truncated on the newer P27. The P26 has a nice segmented uh, FM dial, a lot more uh, spaces on the dial. Um, that's great because you know where you're at. A little harder to know where you're at here with only four placements there. AM dial, fairly similar. And you got the log scales too, as you can see there. Um, also, I noticed the difference is uh, speaker hold. The speaker sounds clearer here because it's actually more open. Um, the speaker there, if you can see that in the reflection, is actually easier to listen to than the other. The holes on the P26 are narrower and the P27 they're more open. You can see that. But you can see the speaker much easier on the P27. So there you go. And then of course I have another. So you got the Sanjin SR35. You can still pick it up. I think I don't know if they're making it anymore. 
it's like $29 new, and I think they got it refurbed for 20 bucks. But it gives you an idea for the Sanjin SR35, which is better for DSP. Hard to tell. Uh, they're both great. Uh, I noticed the FM on the Sony was really good, so uh, I was pretty impressed. Audio-wise, of course, the Sony, uh, Sanjin takes the uh, takes the uh, winner on the audio portion, but we're really talking about the P27. Of course, we got our normal radios here. We got the CC Pocket in the house, and we got Iron. Not Iron Man yet. We got Skywave. We'll use the Skywave as a frequency checker if we get on the AM band tonight. If not, I'm going to do some band scans. I'm more thorough, so you get an idea what this is going to sound like. Iron Man, here he is. Deck of cards, standard playing cards for size comparison, 3x5s. There you go. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves the P27 from Sony Land. He's Iron Man. Rock it down. He's Iron Man. Okay, so there you go. So features of the P27, pretty basic. Um, again, similar to the P26, we have a 17-inch antenna. It just opens up in one direction, as you can see there. It doesn't pivot 360 or anything. The volume control, simple volume control. Is it digital? No, it seems like it's analog. Uh, here we have our headphone jack. Uh, again, FM mono, uh, both ears. The headphone experience, it wasn't bad. There's no low-level hiss, which is great, so no hissing at low levels. Uh, I do like that. Uh, the FM, moderate lows, strong mids, decent highs. I like that. Uh, AM band, it's flat neutral tone, which is good for talk radio. So you can listen to talk radio for hours and hours and not fatigue your ears when you're using headphones. Cool. So we saw the front already, the dial, as you can see, FM on top, AM on the bottom. There's a uh, battery indicator, which will be green. As that fades, that tells you your batteries are going bad. Tuning LED turns red when you're in tune with this radio. Our two and a quarter inch speaker here. Nice. Again, sounds clear because of the larger openings there. I made an improvement. Again, you get this matte finish bottom and high gloss top. Uh, tuning knob. Down here we have our off switch AM FM band. On the back, vented case. And then we have a captured battery door, which is nice. Hinges up. Two AA batteries. Um, this radio is nice and flat, and it has some information on the bottom. I'll show you real quick. There you go. Don't know if it's any different than the P26s, but there you are. Mile number, and it runs on the two AA's. So, all right. We're going to go over FM reception. So, FM reception. I always like to do this uh, with my radios, test the FM reception to see if it got better. It did. I actually tested the P26 and the P27 side by side, and I was pretty happy to note that the P27 was much better, much more sensitive than the P26. Um, so, I rate it on a five-tier scale. I got fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. Most analog radios like this fall into the okay to good category, around 48 stations or so. Uh, that's pretty average. Uh, this radio here found 60 stations, which it puts it fairly into the good category, so three-star category. That DSP chip does a better job uh, for selectivity and sensitivity on the FM band. I'm happy to see FM uh, improve on a Sony product. Very nice. Um, selectivity was okay to good. It did tend to latch on stronger stations, I noticed, uh, but the sensitivity did make up for it. I enjoyed it. So definitely better than the P26. So awesome. Uh, so there it is. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on, do an audio demo. I have a uh, transmitter to my left here. Actually, to my right. I got stuff everywhere to my left. So here is the transmitter 2 by C Crane. Transmitting royalty-free music, as you can see that light flashing there, 92.9 megahertz. And I'm going to tune it to this radio so it can play this music and idea of the audio. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Should be already on Radio Totterbert. There we go. Play for a minute or two. Then we're going to go through the bands and see what it sounds like. Full volume. Thank you. 
There you go, get an idea what that sounds like. Let me go ahead and turn that transmitter off and turn that off. All right, so yeah, that gives us an idea. A little bit of an audio demo without, you know, I can hover on that music without worrying about copyrights and things like that. So we're gonna raise this antenna. We're gonna do an FM band scan. Before I do that though, let's take a look at the inside of this radio. Now, I didn't tear this apart, but somebody sent me some pictures of the radio they tore apart. And we're gonna show you the internals of what this radio looks like. So here's this first picture. You can notice this PCB is loaded with different components. Uh, pretty impressed by this. Uh, there's, If you look, there's a lot of gearing there and there's like a CPU looking chip there and just a bunch of resistors. Uh, they put a lot of effort into here and those little capacitors there look like they're higher end also. Uh, per, again, very impressed with this. They're really trying hard to make this sound like an analog receiver and I think they've done it. So um, definitely neat. This next picture here, uh, is a close-up of that DSP chip. There you go. You can read on there and look that up and see a little read-up about this chip, see what you think about it um, and how they implemented it. Uh, pretty neat. Thought I'd show you these pictures. Let's go back to the bench here. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Thought I'd show you those. Those are neat. Always fun. Um, the P26s is, is just kind of like a bare board. There's nothing really to see there, um, but neat. Uh, the AM antenna is internal, and I think it's probably about an inch and three quarters or so up at the top there. Uh, you can see it in that first picture that I showed. So let's go ahead and extend this antenna. We're going to do an FM band scan. I'm not sure what I'm going to pick up downstairs here. Typically, I don't pick up much well, but uh, let's figure it out. I might bump into things here, so let's uh, see how I do. Um, we're going to go to the bottom of the band, and then we'll just tune and hear what we can pick up. Now, keeping in mind the FM band's way up here with only four numbers to go by. this to happen you know we're still you know we've got the ukraine so tuning Russia, it tunes like an like a analog receiver which is really cool even though it's all digital chip in there Philadelphia and all sorts of things happening we've got rising costs of, of <laughs> Olive saw spread out below them, fields of bright and tender green in this morning sun. Go inside the positive, encouraging music at klove.com. They're living in Israel today, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, daddy, I hope you'll find said there was no evidence that she ever took any money from the program that her husband Okay, there we go. Is our friend Banskin? 
go ahead and turn that down. Let's put our antenna down. What I want to show you real quick is the P26. I figure I'll do a little comparison in this video. Always nice to do comparisons. People want to know, um, is their P26 worth uh, replacing yet or not? Let's find out on FM. Let's go here up. I'm at the bottom of the band, get extended antenna. There we go, same 17 inch antenna. Get that guy off to the side. Okay, let's see what we can hear. Into a stunned block of perfect. On genocide, courthouse. Sounds pretty good. Um, it's doing really well uh, downstairs, which is pretty surprising. Uh, but it's a strong AFC, so it definitely passes up a lot of the weaker stations. A lot more selectivity on the P27. I had these side by side when I was testing them. I only found like 42 stations than when I found my 60 here. So keep that in mind. It does sound good down here, but it's latching on stronger stations. I do like the lower noise floor on this P26. Okay, there you go. There's the P26. Uh, again, not bad. Well, as you notice, it says it on the top of this radio. The other 227 does not have any writing on the top. No writing on there. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll just keep that going. We'll go to the AM band. We'll probably do a little AM differences so you can hear that. So we're going to go to AM band on this radio, and I'm going to do full band scans with the P27 so you get an idea. And then we'll do our final thoughts on what you should do if you are, you know, if your P27 is worth buying. If it, uh, yeah, I'll give you my impressions. So let's go ahead and go to AM band. Let's have some fun. Uh, Sensitive uh, during the day and evening. I was really impressed with selectivity on this, but the noise floor, it's a little noisier than the P26. Hopefully I get to show that. So we're just gonna go fairly quick here. Now the AM band is uses the internal antenna, and you have to turn the top of the radio towards the station you're trying to receive. So you'll see me turning the radio and try to improve a the signal. There might be lightning in the area, we do have some storms. So we have defund, dismantle the police, and we see record and becomes what is there's Nashville on six fifty, WSM. Very vulgar. There has been uh, a history of violence. Six seventy, I think. So it's, it's you are scary. you are afraid of visiting the score. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. All right. This uh, black hole can be extremely dangerous. You know, no matter where you are along the route. Um, some news. Kind of WLW. Kind of Three hundred miles away. Yesterday, you may recall we had that story about the trucker so who the... was accused of. The accuracy is fairly close for 700. You can kind of see where just that front leading edge touches the 7, so that's the accuracy on the AM band. Glenn Miller, Glenn Miller did a version of that. So 720 WGN. Yeah, and yeah, but this has been around, like I say. Is it a radio? Something even 
more powerful, the retweet button, which allowed users to publicly endorse a post while also sharing it with all their followers. Young people. Congressman Sean Kasten says he and fellow Democrat Bill WBBM Chicago. I'm passing up some New York stations because this will pick up 770. I did the other night. Don't know if I'll get it now. It's there, but it's rather faint. You're what, 15 times as likely to become homeless? And that's because of the Gaddafi. Yeah, we did. All teachers basically are. Uh... Eight sixty CJBC Toronto. Not on the show. Uh, AMPM has a promotion with the Dodgers where it was versus pigs and cattle. Ending with a hoof. That was a. It shouldn't be hard. Giving it up. It shouldn't be hard to read a history book. But apparently applied over 20... ESPN 1000, WMVP Chicago. Freddie Fitzsimmons is presented by Progressive wow. Insurance. In different levels of different places. But we can start to really bring that out. We're just made it today. Fly. Overnight, expect dry, calm conditions. 54 for the low temperature, but a warm up ahead. 82 for a Wednesday. Partly cloudy with uh, humidity starting to climb just a touch. More humid on your Thursday, and we're looking at winds increasing as showers and storms approach in the afternoon. A couple of the storms could turn strong to severe, but a forecast high yet again at 82. By Friday, we're dry, but cooler, a high of 70 and partly cloudy. I'm NBC10 First Alert Meteorologist Crystal Kwai. Fair sky, 63 degrees right now in Center City. Three things to know about the Brooklyn subway shooting at 1215. A manhunt continues for the... Okay, so that might have been 1030 WBZ. But I shall not fear. Clearly there are things. You get the idea how it tunes. I'm like, I'm going to do full band scans. Um, it does very well, by the way. Tonight's just a challenging night because of the rain. The big storm's coming through south and above us, north. But uh, so let's go ahead and go to the P26. And you can hear the difference. Uh, P26 is definitely the one to get if you love AM radio. Um, it's really, it's got a better noise floor. Let's listen to this one. Now, will yours get it? If you get a P26, I don't know if they changed, if different batches uh, are better or not. But let's go ahead and take a listen. If it's not in the subways, it's in the streets. 12-year-olds, 3-year-olds, 6-year-olds, and... Here's WSM. Welcome, Luke Ryan. You could have given that up a little bit sooner, just trying to go for speed, and... Yeah, the Raiders, uh, they, they can do better. But I will give his dad. John took me to Home Depot. Yeah. And when we come to present a special weekend programming block, including a telecast... Of There's 700 WLW. ...service starting at 4.30... ...was, you probably don't even remember it, so I'll play you some of it. But in, uh, in 1966, a national songwriter, Gene Chrysler, wrote... And old uh, social media from the rise of There's CFCM Toronto, 740. It's more on this in just one moment. First, portion. 760, Detroit, Michigan. WGR. BBM's Rick Gray. Bottom eight, socks up a run, insurance 90 feet away, and Aloy Jimenez, who might not be. The BBM, 780. Beat out a fielder's choice, but of course he did at a angle. He always speed is something that a lot of people. Especially after meal. The hundred 
five miles an hour, barely keeping up. But to cruise through chat could actually happen. The federal rule requires. And I think the, the, the creation of evil before me in the presence of my... Okay, hopefully you got a little difference there. Now, during the day, I did notice this was um, quieter, uh, less uh, static in that. Of course, we're hearing more with the evening and the storms approaching. But uh, the tuning experience, I'll be honest with you, on the P26 AM band, is I like it better. But uh, let's go over some of the differences and why you choose which. Um, if this is still on the market, the P26, it's probably the one to go with if you're an AM listener all the way. If you're, uh, and plus you want to save $5, <laughs> right now this is the way to go if it's still available. All links below to both radios. If the P26 is there, grab it. Um, if the P27 is there and there's no P26, um, you could grab this P27 and know that you're getting a decent radio. I really like the selectivity um, of this on FM. Uh, it, really, it is nice. And AM, it, it really surprised me on the AM band. And you get to see those in those future band scans. Um, I do like the dial spread here better. I like the all analog tuning. It's it's just, it's slightly better than this. This does a great job at trying to emulate all analog tuning, as you heard. Um, but I do like the AM band again on the Sony P26. P27, uh, I enjoy the speaker uh, audio better. It sounds clearer uh, because of the bigger openings there. I do enjoy the uh, sensitivity on the FM band. Um, it doesn't have that strong AFC circuit that the Sony, this one has here, the P26. So uh, with it said, um, yeah, again, AM listener, by the P26. FM listener, by the P27. If uh, you listen to a little bit of both, um, you might want to lean to the P27 if it's 20 bucks. If uh, you're an all analog purist, then stick with the P26. That's all I can say. Um, everybody wants to know the difference and and what they you know, represent. Uh, I rep I'll tell you what, the P27 uh, actually is a great implementation of the new technology, and I'm glad to hear how they did that. Um, and they can only improve from there. Uh, definitely uh, happy with how the P27 turned out. Of course, there is the Sanjin SR35 still in the works out there. Um, if you can find one, uh, it's a great radio overall. Uh, I do th enjoy this on the FM. AM band, uh, mine has a clicking sound when it goes in and out of tune, so I'd rather have this Sony or the P26 on the AM band, either day or night, versus the Sanjin. So that's just me personally. But if you like nice speaker audio, instead of the, if you don't like the sound of these, the SR35 has a better speaker for sure. So there are those options for you. I'll have links to the Sanjin below too. Great radio. So there it is, the Sony P27. Does it get recommended by? It gets a maybe. Uh, because the P26 is still available and it's still a great radio, uh, still enjoyable, still get great run times. Um, it's all analog. People love that all analog. I don't blame them. Better FM scale too, by the way. A lot of people find this a bit of a letdown with only four segmented spots on the FM band. As you saw, as soon as I got the 108, it stopped, even though I have all this extra travel. So uh, it would have been nice if they could have implemented that better. Um, and overall, uh, yeah, the price is higher. So um, that I would say it's a maybe. If there's no other radio, no P26s anymore, then this is the one to pick up. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a big like if you did. Two, if you like Sony products, you want to know more about them, hit the subscribe, hit the bell icon, get notified of future band scans, which I'm going to do here. Uh, we're going to go into daytime. We're going to go through a full full daytime band scan, a full evening band scan. You can see what this thing can do. It's very impressive. And, of course, three, uh, comment below what you think about the P27. Is that DSP technology for you, or would you rather pass? Let me know. I was rather impressed by how well this sounds with the DSP. You didn't hear those distinct clicking every time you move to the station. Once in a while, you hear a click into the station, but not too often. It would just go into the station smoothly and out, and then you could, sometimes if you pass the station up, you could tune backwards very easily and find it. It wasn't as finicky as most DSP radios can be. So, that's my opinion. All right, guys, take care, and we'll see you in my next video. Thank you.